Getting injured at work is one of the most stressful things that can happen, but it doesn't have to be. Not when you've got someone like Ryan Murphy with the Ryan E. Murphy Law Firm. So Ryan, thanks for having us out at your place today. Thank you for being here. Yeah, of course. So today we're going to be talking about kind of timelines on getting injured at work. So what if somebody gets injured and they think, oh, it's just a sprain. It's not that big of a deal. But then later on, you know, a few days go by and they realize it's much worse than what they thought. What do they do? Yeah, this is actually a fairly common scenario where a person has an event that occurs at work. Uh, they want to sort of tough it out, shake it off, you know, uh, yeah. but maybe the next day after the weekend, it just becomes apparent that this is a more severe injury than just a small little strain. Okay. And so while we tell people to advise their employer that an accident has occurred you know, as soon as possible, Okay, and that's always the right advice, as soon as possible. If you advise them you know, two, three, four days later, once you, it's become apparent it's not going away, that, that is equally fine under the law. Okay, now is there any rule of thumb in terms of how long you have to report these injuries? Well, legally you have 30 days to report the injury, but uh, it, it just makes my client look more credible when it's reported at the first opportunity. So maybe not that day, but when you've gone to sleep, woken up and it's still having a problem, that's when I'd advise something. That's, that's what I mean when I say at the first available opportunity. All right, and I'm curious to know, is there a certain way that people need to be reporting these? Is it okay if you are my supervisor, I get hurt and I just go, hey Ryan, I hurt myself today. Is that all they need to do? Do they need to email so there's a paper trail? What's the best way to approach that? Really the best way is tell a supervisor. Okay, and then follow the supervisor's instructions. And so what is not an effective way is just to tell a coworker, someone that, that's you know, equally you know, is responsible around the company as you. Okay. So make sure to tell a supervisor. All right, and then what if a company has a 24-hour injury reporting requirement? Every once in a while we see that. That might be the company policy, but it's simply not the law. So don't be discouraged if they say, well, you okay. needed to report it in 24 hours because the law is what dictates what's gonna happen and the law says you, you have 30 days. Okay, so that's the law. So maybe somebody could get in trouble at work, but legally they still do have that 30 days to fall back on to protect themselves. Well, I'd argue if they were following the law and got in trouble at work, that that would be a potential retaliation against them. And so I, I think I'd be able to step in and afford them some legal protections if they thought they were gonna get in trouble for reporting an injury outside of a reporting period that didn't actually comply with the law. All right, perfect. Well, Ryan, if anybody at home has any questions for you or if they do find themselves in one of these stressful situations, how can they get a hold of you? Give us a call. It's 417-888-0000. I like meeting with people. I want to answer their questions. All right, perfect. Well, Ryan, as always, thanks so much for having us out today and thanks so much for that great information. Thank you. You're welcome.